Hello everybody, welcome to Pink Camera Hour and I'm Michael. Today we are going to review the Kendroids from Camerata Oz. Here is the complete collection of DX Kendroid released like a decade ago. To me, Camerata Oz is a series which aged very, very well, so it is kind of surprising for me to realize Oz is more than 10 years ago. Let's start off with this little bad boy right here, the uh, Taka Droid. So there's the uh, animal hook right there. Now let's transform this can into uh, the animal mode. So uh, what we do is uh, we uh, pop up, we pop out, and then we can... Uh, wait, how do I do this? <laughs> okay, as you can see, I didn't do my research firmly because <laughs> I'm struggling to open this can. Ah, there you go, there you go, okay. These open the wings of uh, the Taka. We uh, push this side out. Ah, so that's the head. Oh, okay, it's this way, sorry. <laughs> Pull the head down. Oh wait, you can open the wings up. And I do believe you can push the two buttons here to spread the wings out. Hey, there you go. Ooh, this looks kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, uh, not transformer, the Bao Yun, what do you call? The, the balls, you know what I mean? Next up, let's take a look at the blue uh, can droid, the uh, Taco can. So uh, let's uh, uh, open it up. So, uh, whoa, okay. Okay, oh, 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 there you go. Wow, <laughs> look at the adorable face of uh, the Taco. It reminds me of the uh, the character from DreamWorks. What's the name? The blue villain, uh, what is it called? So I, I do believe you can actually do something with this one. So you can like twist the head when you release it. Yeah, yeah, look at it. Look at this, this is so cool. Oh my, look at this thing go. Look at this thing go. Up next, we got the Bata Kendroy, the grasshopper one. And once again, it looks like a can. So let's uh, try to transform this one. Oh, we can see the grasshopper's face already. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. And how about this part? Ah, there's a switch inside. Um, the, oh, it's hard to see, but there's a switch in here and you can just switch it out. Oh, okay, you can also flip the tail here. So what can you do with this? I think you can... Um... Oh, that's it? <laughs> that's it! I believe this is a uh, transmitter in the show so you can like talk to the grasshopper and the grasshopper can display you know a projection or something in terms of playability the uh, batat can draw is uh, pretty lacking because <laughs> you can't do anything next up let's take a look at the Tora can joy. Now it looks kind of different because most of the can are vertically colored and this one is a uh, horizontal uh, yellow line throughout the whole thing. And they didn't even bother to hide the detail at the back. I mean the, uh, the what do you call the components because if you look at the other can draw, usually they try to keep things you know low profile even at the back uh, such as this one. I like how they designed the lid as sort of like a lock for the toy. So if the lid is uh, you know, locked, uh, you, you can push the component out. So, oh, I guess not! You can do this, so I guess not! <laughs> Once again, please do your own research <laughs> and don't watch this video and, you know, look for the perfect answer for everything. And then we just uh, push this out. Okay, we. this is the tiger. What are these? What are these little flappy things? Ah, okay. Ah, so you just flip them out. Is this it? Ah, okay, so uh, it looks like this. It looks kind of... I think it's the worst looking one <laughs> because of how big the can is. For the other can droid, for the ones that we looked at, they try to hide the fact that it's a can looking toy who transform, which transform into an animal. But for the tiger ones, I guess um, it's... There's no way you can uh, turn a can into a tiger, so it still looks like a can. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the uh, Danki Unangi Kandroid. <laughs> I believe that's not how you pronounce it, but anyway, this is the electric eel Kandroid. Uh, we uh, open the lid. Yep, there's a lever here. We can pull it down and it will release the... Uh, the Y. Release the, uh, the part, the body part. There you go. Ah, huh, there's the head. Okay. 
Ha, huh, okay, I see, I see you. So there you go. Oh, interesting. So the, the lid is act, acts like a uh, the ear of the seal. It's like uh, the ears on the side. It moves like an eel. Very nice design. The lock component acts like a tail of the eel too. Very, very cool. And I do believe the head will sparkle when I roll the wheels right here. Let me try it. Stimulating, I guess, the electric status of the electric eel. So pretty cool stuff, my phone just fell. Next up, we got the Gorilla Candroid. Once again, it looks like I can. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on here? Oh, okay, I see, I see. So this is the arm, because we can just... Yep, we can push it out. So we can open this up, and there you go. There is the Gorilla Head. So what we can do with the Gorilla Kendra is we can um, roll the arms back. There is like a whining uh, like mechanic inside the toy. So if we wind it up, wind it back, and we put it on the table. Wait, let me show you guys. I believe it will... Oh, it's not working. What? Hey, I thought it's, it will move on its own, right? Yeah, there you go. Look how cute the toys are. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, Gorilla, go. Why does it walk backwards though? <laughs> Man, I miss the tiny little animal gadgets they use in the early second phase of Heisei. Here is the Kujaku Kendroid, the Peacock Kendroid. So let's unlock this and I do believe... There you go, you can just open the wings up. Ah, uh, here's the head. Ha! Huh. So you can spin the peacock wings. Oh my mistake, there's actually a button. If I push it, I think it will... Yes! There you go, there you go. Alright, let's do it again. Let's push the button here. Bruh. The fuck? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I really love these tiny little Kendroids. They are simple design, but yet very uh, intelligently designed. Then we have the purple Kendroid. It's the Petera, Petera non dot. And of course, it's purple representing the final form of Oz. So let's open up the can. Ha, huh, interesting. So the lid can be split into half. And then we can expand the wing. And here goes the head. And here goes the tail. Wow! This looks amazing. Can you see this? Oh, the fuck? This is a very smart design. So when you insert the, what do you call the tab? It's just the key. Um, at the back, there's a hole here you can put it in. So when you put it in and when you pull it out, it will create sort of like the pterodactyl sound effect. Can you hear it? Can you hear the scream? These nuts. This is, this is just lovely. I, I think I'm a big fan of the Kendroids right now. <laughs> Lastly, let's check out the Toriceratops Kendroid. <laughs> Also known as the Triceratops Kendroid. Fun fact, I know the words Triceratops by watching Peppa Pig. So shout out Peppa Pig. No, shout out George. <laughs> Open the can. And then, is it on the side? Yes, it is. Look how much things are packed inside. So we uh, open this up. Oh, so you flip the can. Oh, this is so cool. So you open the can inside out, you basically flip the whole thing. Ha, ah, I made a mistake. So the lid should be on top instead of on the bottom. Oh, I almost broke my friend's toy. <laughs> right there, there you go. There you go, the tail is secured. And that's it. Oh, shoot! Okay, you can just put it back. Fuck! I believe you can put a cell metal uh, here and then it will shoot out. Let me, let me try. Once again, shout out to my friend Sam for also borrowing me one cell metal. So I can put the cell metal here. And you can push the button here to shoot the metals out. Just like this. There you go, that is so cool. So I can push the button and it shoot out, wow. So there you go, that's all the can dry. But we are not done yet, cause we got the uh, um... The fuck is this? We still got the Trifender to take a look at. I love this thing. It's so big, it's so bulky, and it feels kind of heavy too. Different to the other Kendroid, the vending machine actually requires a battery to uh, produce some uh, sound bite. So when I push the button, ha, huh, I think you need to insert the cell metal inside first. So let's insert a cell metal. Then? Oh, then you can push the button. Yes! This is amazing! Again?
Nice, so you can buy different cans. It literally acts like a vending machine. My mic and the main camera suddenly died, so I'm just gonna voice over this one bit. Here, I transform the toy from the machine vending mode into the machine bike mode. All I need to do is slap the wheels from the back to the front and pull down the wheels into the right position. And that's basically it. Very simple. Okay, so the last thing that we are going to check out in this video is the uh, combination of the uh, Tiger Can Joy and with the bike. It's called the uh, Toride Vendor. Split open the head part of the bike and you can uh, uh, do this to the front wheel and combine it at the back like that. Put the thing inside here now. How do you put it? Oh, how the fuck do you do it? So I should be able to attach this part to this part of the bike. So I just put it in. The fuck? Ah, there you go. Is this how it's supposed to be? My apologies. Should be, I can pull the head back. Yes, there you go. So there should be a sound. So this act as a uh, the mouth of the lion. Uh, in front of the bike. And it feels good too. It's kind of bulky, kind of heavy. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels, you know, steady and stuff. So there we go. These are all the DX Kendroid and a uh, bonus uh, vending machine toy that got released 10 years ago. More than 10 years ago. I think in terms of Kendroid, my favorite's gonna be either the, uh, the purple one, the pterodactyl, or the uh, octopus one, the squid one, because of just how <laughs> amazing it looks. Let's, let's, look at this! Look at this! <laughs> look at the tentacle! <laughs> amazing! <laughs> My least favorite, I guess, it's gonna be, um, I don't know, the grasshopper, because, you know, nothing much is going on. There's no sound. It's not even, you know, a, a winding wheel. So let me know in the comment section, which is your favorite can dry toys out of all of these. This is such a fun video to make. All of the toys are cute. The, all of the toys are fun. Once again, shout out to Sam for borrowing all of the toys that you've seen today. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching guys if you like the videos please give a like and subscribe to show more support and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye take care